morning folks it's 5 30 a.m. and this footage is from the 46th north 119th west on September 30th and I'm going down here to see if I can catch the sun coming into the horizon and as soon as I started my hike I got this heavenly luminary out there figured I'd stop right there it's just so marvelously displaying itself I'm not exactly which one this is it's one of the wandering stars of course but we got such a clear night I'm gonna super zoom this I guess that's his super zoom. That's all the camera will do right now. Zoom out just a little bit. I'm guessing this is Mercury. Or Venus. I don't know. I, I've done a little research, but I don't have time to get real involved with it. Now the light's getting focused on, let's zoom in on it now. I'm talking about folks now my camera's warmed up a little bit perhaps maybe it's just me sometimes it'll zoom in them luminaries super tight so you're just getting little bandwidths of them flickers of lights and black spots on the screen Turn out a little more. And a little more. Yeah, why don't NASA have with all this equipment and shit just dedicated 
optical presentations to each one of these heavenly luminaries that are transverse in the skies. With all the money that we have invested into that entity, we should have 24-7 footage of every heavenly luminary. That's what NASA's for, right? Alright, with this folks, I'm going to head on down the dike here at the end where I can uh, see the actual horizon out in the distance and I'm going to try to catch that sun popping in from this angle. Yeah, I'm down lower too. I'm actually higher in elevation, but I'm lower in, I don't know what I'm trying to say. More even. I don't know. It's a different perspective, from two degrees difference, in one degree, three degrees. All right, I'm confusing myself even a little bit, not really, but I'm gonna explain this shit. Good and steep. Zoom back out on this little beauty there. I'll get some footage of it once I set up down here too, but I gotta get moving. Alrighty.